hey everybody <laughs> what a weird comment section hope you all enjoyed the cupcake sorry for the weird one um but you know um here we are <laughs> i'm gonna be playing batman rise of sinzu um this is part three i've done this last two weeks and uh today i think i'm gonna be fighting clayface so um that weird cupcake emoji i guess is kind of fitting in that regard um that's kind of the clayface emoji you know what i mean but yeah so um what can I tell you about? Uh, we've got um, a really cool video. Uh, well, so we just put out our Space Jam 2 Easter Eggs video last Sunday. Um, this next Sunday, I believe, is all uh, it's these DCEU commentary tracks that Maddie and Sissy did. That's um, Maddie's fiance. Yeah, a couple months ago, they watched all the DCEU movies like leading up to the uh, Snyder Cut and just record like weird commentary for him. So I think that should be a lot of fun. But the week after that, it's going to be my next video. And um, James and I interviewed Justin Erickson, who was the artist behind... No, I've got it right here. Mondo's um, Batman the Mini Series, The Phantom City Creative Collection. So um, yeah, if you've seen these posters that Mondo's put out... I'll just open it real quick and kind of show you all a glimpse. I know I've talked about this before, but uh, yeah, this is the artist behind all these posters. So we've got an interview with him coming up in about two weeks. And uh, just yesterday, I uh, polished up um, my latest video essay. I'll be doing one about the Shadow uh, radio show character um, in late August, and that's kind of diving into uh, how the shadow influenced Batman and the DCAU in general. So I think um, I think that'd be a really fun video. I hope you all like it. Um, lots of great ghosts. Lots of great ghosts in it. But yeah, um, cool. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> Adam Lost Dominion. I'm repping your comic. Um, so go to Lost Dominion Comic on social media. Instagram is a great place to follow. Um, this is a comic book that I edit the scripts for Adam Mullen, who's here in the comments. Um, and Marcella Millique is the artist on issue number three, which will be out shortly. It's just a matter of weeks. Um, Marcello did a couple issues of the Legacies of the DCAU webcomic with me. That is the uh, the fanfic DCAU continuation webcomic that we do here in the Watchtower database. Um, if you haven't read it, you can go check that out at LegaciesDCAU.com. Marcelo does a really good, I don't want to say Bruce Tim impression, but he's definitely influenced by Bruce Tim. So if you like that style, um, I think you'll really like Lost Dominion too. So he um, he does do issue number three. It's coming out real soon. He also drew issue number two. So you can already read, you know, his last his last book, <laughs> basically. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's great on legacies too. Excuse me. <clears throat> but yeah, hello everybody. Let me see some of the names in here. Um, I've already said hey to uh, Ultimate and Caleb. They got the cupcakes. Then we have Trace Baker. Hello, Master Sanders. How's it going, man? It's going pretty good. Um, I think I have a good internet day today, so I'm hoping the stream is steady <laughs> once we get going. I think the video game will be pretty smooth. Um, you can't find a better chat than the WBB WDB chat. Yes, Trace, I agree. We have good. We got a good chat here. Everybody's a good chat. Um, hey, Side Dragon 2.0. Jay, how do you? Hey, yeah. Um, Caleb said he wasn't a fan. Of, he wasn't a fan of Space Jam 2. It's basically just Ready Player One, but with Warner Brothers properties. Yeah, except Ready Player One also had Warner Brothers properties because it was a Warner Brothers movie, <laughs> but it had like the same properties. It's like okay, Iron Giant, King Kong are basically in both of them. Um, you know, that's not necessarily a problem. That's just what it is. Um, but yeah, it does have Looney Tunes. That's all it takes to be a great movie. It was, it was entertaining, but not something I will probably be going back to anytime soon. Uh, Oxford Irish Dictionary would stay, but he's watching Long Halloween Part 2. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. I've actually watched Part 1, Long Halloween Part 1, and I watched it three times. Uh, the first time, just because I had it on the background, I didn't pay that close attention. No, I've watched it four times. I watched it four times. So the second time I paid attention and then the, like I'd already read the book. So I wasn't really worried about spoilers, but, um, the third time I watched it with a friend and the fourth time I watched it with my brother. So I have watched part one, four times, and I am really excited to watch the long Halloween part two. Um, I hear there is an after credit scene. I won't say what it's about, but I had it spoiled for me because I'm not the most sensitive person about spoilers sometimes. 
don't don't drop them in here or anything but sometimes i seek them out um you know but anyway it seems like it's just gonna be a really cool movie i loved part one um i thought it was like one of the more engaging batman animated movies that we've had in years so um in that regard it was super cool but yeah y'all um i think i'm gonna go ahead and jump in the game so if you have any more comments drop them in i'm here to read them i'm here to talk and I'm here to play Batman Rise of Sinzu from 2003 for Game Boy Advance. I do have the game for, uh, I'm looking at my shelf, is it Xbox? Or is it PlayStation 2? Apparently, I have the game for Xbox. So, <laughs> I will, uh, I'll end up playing the console version eventually. Um, yeah, hopefully soon. Cool. Hey, interview show. Welcome to the chat. All right, here we go, let's start the game. Make sure the sound works real quick. All right, yeah, we have video game sound. Ultimate, I just played this game once. I had this game when I was a kid, and I played it. Um, I don't know if I ever beat it, but I played it. Okay, I found my password from last time. Alright, here we go. Um, we are gonna play in English, because that is the language that I speak. Alright, let's continue. And I, I talked about this on the very first stream, but I don't know if you know the history of Sinzu, the character here in this game. But this is the only place he ever appeared aside from a tie-in comic book that, that came out with this game. And it was a weird comic book because it was both like sort of... Um, well, there was also a novelization based on the game that Maddie has been reading through on his live streams. Um, but there is a, a comic book that was, like, supposed to be DCAU, sort of. It's in, like, DCAU equivalent designs, but, um, but it's got stuff like the Birds of Prey in it and Oracle, I think. Maybe not Oracle, but definitely the Birds of Prey. Um, and, like, Mr. Zazz, and there are a bunch of other characters kind of like that that aren't necessarily DCAU. Okay, this is either a zero or the letter O, and we will know in a second. Yeah, okay, it worked. Yeah, I got them kind of well, that's where we left off last time. Sweet. So... Caleb, I know this is a DC exclusive channel, but what's your opinion on the new Amazon Prime show Invincible? I loved Invincible. I, um, binged watched it. <laughs> it probably took me two days to watch the whole show. But it's, it was so good. I love the voice cast. Um, Uncanny says, do you think Batman uses... Oh, nope, we're not gonna answer that question, okay. <laughs> um, let's see, so, um, Hope Hunk does stuff. Man, Sinzu has been rising for almost 20 years, when's he gonna fall? That is a good question. Ultimate, his CPU is damaged, impossible to pass the menu, bought the PS2 with the game already used, oh, yeah, that's too bad. All right, let's go to Gotham Chemical and see what's waiting for us. I was promised the best scientific minds in the world would fix my condition. It never happened. As we speak, I am formulating enough chemicals to turn away to turn every citizen in Gotham City to clay. Then they might come up with a cure then. Oh, <laughs> think they might come up with a cure then? Yeah, they probably would. Don't worry about a thing, Clayface. I'll cure you right now. <laughs> What a weird line. Sorry, I'm going to pause it for just a second. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. I was about to do the same thing. All right, anyway. Um, okay. So, 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 so. Um, you know, I think Bruce Wayne has concocted a cure for Clayface. For his condition. Or at least I thought he had. But definitely turning everyone into clay will uh, speed up the process. Not to, uh, you know, like, keep your politics out of my DCAU, but I kind of feel the same about reproductive rights, you know what I mean? If we all had it, it wouldn't be such an issue. We would have figured that thing out much sooner. Okay, um, 
So, that's a weird wall. I wonder if it's gonna hurt me or if that's just like flashing panels on the side. I'm just gonna jump and see what happens. I'm good. That was just decoration. Oh, yep, this is the Game Boy Advance version, yeah. I will be playing the console version of eventually, but I, um, I'm not there yet. But I do have it for PS2. And it is on my list of things to play. So there's a ladder that I can't climb because it's broken. The other guy had a really easy time climbing it though. <laughs> Clayface, just shapeshift into your original human form and then continue on with your life. That is good advice, honestly. Okay, there's a lot of toxic sludge in this level. Uh, yep, and it hurts you if you jump at it. Who would have thought jumping in acid would hurt you? Have y'all seen that Rick and Morty episode where they go in the acid vat? That one's a great one. Alright. So lots of, lots of acid and toxic sludge here in the chemical plant. Okay, I gotta pull that lever and then open the gate down there. Let's break this box. Get some health. Got him. Alright, pulling the lever. And run it down. Oh, there's another guy. Okay, I just ran past him. Whatever. That works. I'll just keep him down there. He won't bother me. Sludge, jump over the sludge. Pick up the guy, throw the guy. So, um, so right now, as far as canonicity in this game goes, I don't know if there's, like, a really hard line, like, yes or no answer. Um, honestly, Maddie is gonna be the better person to answer that, just in terms of, like, when it's set and whatnot. And I, I can't remember if there's anything in this game to really, like, contradict much, much else. Um, I know Clayface can get kind of weird in terms of uh, canon, just because his arc um, is just kind of specific. Okay, so it seems like there's a key card or something I need over here, right? There's this door, or maybe it's another lever situation. I'm gonna try going up here. I have to jump across there again. Oh, that was bad. All right. Did Senzu ever appear in the comics? Just the uh, comic that um. Oh, you know what? I don't think I killed this guy last. Or there was a guy. The guy up there I didn't kill. He might have a key card. I'll have to kill him this time. All right. Um, no, so Sinzu appeared in a tie-in comic based off the game. I mentioned it a minute ago. Um, Mr. Zaz was in it, and so were the Birds of Prey, but it was otherwise, like, drawn to be, like, the DCAU. Nope, he did not drop a key card. Hmm. Okay, there's a platform up there, it looks like. 
maybe. I don't know if I can get to it. I'm gonna try. Nope. Can't get up there. But I'm gonna keep my back grapple out just in case it flashes and tells me like, hey, you can grapple up here. Oh, this is new. I guess I didn't try this last time. Okay, that's how I get up there. I might be able to go through that door. I'll try that in a second. It's got a big cross on it though, so it's a little sketchy. Okay, there's the key card, cool. take me, I think, right back to where I was. Um, and it's probably obvious to most people, but Senzu is based off the uh, Art of War guy, Senzu. Alright, I gotta take a picture of the password. That's what I do. So, um, hey, Chris Anderson, sorry you're late too, but welcome. You just missed a little bit of chemical, chemical plant stuff, you know? Uh, so, Caleb, a lot of people say Batman's greatest power is his mind, but everyone forgets his two most powerful abilities. Hmm, I think he's going to make me guess what they are. Nostalgia Cake says Red Hood gets his first live action appearance in August. Yeah, he's going to be in the, um, the Teen or the, not Teen Titans, just... Titans live action show. I'm excited for it. I've watched the other seasons. Um, it's not my favorite thing in the world, and I kind of feel like I want to, like, I keep wanting to quit the show. But the uh, actress who plays Dove is just gorgeous. <laughs> she she's beautiful. So Dove keeps me in the show, and then um, I do really appreciate all the live action Gotham stuff. Um, Batman's two greatest abilities, though. Titans' greatest ability. Or wow, I've got my. Wires crossed. Um, Batman's two greatest abilities. It's not his mind, but it's his two fists. That is my guess. It's his fists. His fists of justice. Can I jump over there? No. Okay. Have to go around. Let's try it this way. Oh, this is gonna be a weird puzzle. Okay, so I gotta like hit the switch, and then quickly, can I glide? Can I glide over? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then I just have to get through this door before time runs out, and it already did. So, all right. Next time I'll do it. I don't even think I got through whatever door I need to. Gotta kill these guys first. Maybe, maybe it wasn't like a timeout thing. It was just a... I don't know. I'll keep going this way, though. See what's up. Take a little help. Flash grenade. I needed it there. Yeah, 
gonna throw this guy over the thing. Oh, nope. He's too good. Okay. Cool. So, um... Being rich and having the Justice League bail him out before he dies. Those are your answers. Not the two fists of justice. Okay. <laughs> um, season two is a little better than season one for sure of Titans. But now we wait for season three to be a lot better than season one and two. I hope so. But yeah, season two had some really fun moments. I really loved the Superboy episode most of all. Um, I thought that was their strongest episode to date. Um, that was just great. And I liked their uh, portrayal of Deathstroke. I don't know where these other guys come from. Got him. All right, we got another weird switch. Lover. But there's not a timer, so it must have just opened a door. Okay, I think I can go this way. There's another one. Hmm. No idea what these levers are doing. That's where I came from. It's always a left to right thing, you know? Like, when in doubt, go left to right, I feel like. And this is where I was. I pulled both of these levers. Oh, okay, there's more. There we go. Cool, okay, got it. Awesome. All right. Got Smallville vibes. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so Interview Show says, It is so weird that Sin Tzu never appeared in the comics because I think he was designed by Jim Lee. He was designed by Jim Lee. Yeah, that was part of his appeal. Um, this was, like, back when, like, Batman Hush was a big deal, too. It was a brand new series. Yeah, Superboy episode is best. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, no! <laughs> Jumped right to the acid. That was a bad jump. All right, Batman, let's try that again. Let's do better. There we go. You can jump in that acid. It won't kill you. Oh, not that one. Never mind. All right. So I got a... Oh, there's a platform up there. <laughs> I like this. Just like throwing one on top of the other. It's a good way to beat them both. There we go. Alright. We gotta jump up on that thing next. Alright. New password! Yeah, it would have been really cool to see um, the bat suit up close. I'm hoping maybe that'll happen in this next season. But we will see. Alright, throwing the guys in the acid. That's what Batman would do. Jump across the chemicals. Oh, a bunch of guys. We got a bunch of guys.
There we go, that's better. All the way into the... I want to call it lava, but the... Just the acid. This place needs, like... Like, the health inspector to come by or something. There's just way too much just acid on the floor. Like, that can't be, like, OSHA standard. You know what I mean? These are not safe... Safe work environments. Got the key card. Another pad. That was a quick password. That happens. The purple window looks like Neo Gotham. Chris Anderson, I was just thinking the same thing. It's just that then I love. It did look like Batman Beyond, yeah. Alright, here we go. New music. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so I can't see... Yeah, see, see how, like, Neo Gotham it looks outside here? It does look very Batman Beyond. Like, even the shapes of the buildings are very futuristic. It's very weird. Okay. Alright, I'm just jumping. Oh, ho, ho. Should have known there was going to be acid right down there. Alright, just blindly jumping is not a good idea. Okay, there is a, um, back grapple. There we go. That makes more sense. Oh, he threw a thing at me. It. <laughs> uh, season 11 comics is cool. Oh, y'all are talking about Smallville? Yeah. I've heard really good things about them, too. Um, it was Brian Q. Miller who wrote those. And I think the art was... Um, is it George Jimenez or Jorge? I'm not sure how to say his name, but he... Um, oh, I forgot about the grapple here. It was the guy who recently did the Justice League run by uh, Scott Snyder, who's the same artist, and he's currently doing Batman with James Tinney in the fourth. He drew the Smallville comics, or at least some of them. Yeah, and Brian Q. Miller was the writer who did the Stephanie Brown uh, Batgirl run. Oh, same... Oh, okay, I made it. I made it. I'm going to wait on the other one. No! <laughs> you know, there are rumors right now that Smallville is going to come back as an animated series. Only because Tom Welling went to Cameo. He was doing a Cameo and basically, like, told someone that over Cameo and was like, don't tell anybody. And then, of course, the Cameo video got shared everywhere. So it's probably still, like, a good couple years away from being reality, if it ever is. But something Tom Welling and Michael Rosenbaum are trying to do together and bring back as much of the original cast as possible. Probably not Chloe, though, because she brands people in a sex cult. That is what Allison Mack does, and uh, let's not forget that. She's actually, like, in trial for it, like, right now. Oh, who's this guy? Probably Clayface. Clayface in the little yellow, like, Speedo? What do you call that? Like, a, a banana hammock? It's yellow. <laughs> that's weird. But that's definitely like a... Oh, he just grabbed me. Okay. He's just holding me. Hold me closely, little Clayface. Clayface and the little yellow Speedo. Uh, I am having a hard time hitting them, though. Got him. Okay, cool. Um, Alright, that was weird. But let's, uh, let's keep on going. Yeah, she's in prison. Yeah. Yeah, she did that. She did that. Okay, what is your opinion of Batman the Vampire comics? I love it because it's my first comic. Um, oh, I just lost the comment. You retracted it. Well, well, well. All right. And Alex Rogers Dictionary is back from watching Long Halloween too. Um, well, just real quick about Batman Vampire comics. I have not actually read like Red Rain and stuff, unfortunately. So um, that is one I want to get to soon. 
I kind of figured, I was like, this has to be a grapple situation. There's no other options. Gonna throw him off the ledge. Uh, wouldn't let me grab him. I killed him, though. I mean, maybe not kill. The Batman doesn't kill, but you know what I mean. Video game terms. Okay, so there must be a key card, because that was a door right there. Hmm. Oh, I can see this already being complicated, because I might have to... Oh, man. I have to retrace my steps, is what I was going to say. That's honestly my favorite thing to do in the game, is throw the bad guys off a ledge. It's just kind of fun. And again, there's a weird door there. I'm gonna try to go through it, just in case. No, I can't. I knew I couldn't. Hmm. I'm just gonna try... Nope, I can't go that way. To the right it is. Almost a mistake. All right. I'm moving. I'm moving along. That clayface looking guy again. Wearing nothing but a speedo. I don't know why they do that. It's like Clayface, like I know you can I know you can wear clothes. You transform into clothes all the time, you know? But not this guy. Circles? Is that what's happening? Nice. <laughs> oh, I got the key card. I'm glad I didn't fall with him. Okay, so that's probably back. Oh, there it goes. Okay, yeah, it did go back in the circle to the door. Nice. That is so much better than having the backtrack all the way there. Okay, I've got the picture. What are y'all telling me in the comments? What's going on? What's going on here? Uh, ha, ha, ha. 
nostalgia cake doesn't know what to think about the new Dekamu art style or tomorrow verse or whatever we call it. Feels too simple. I like it. I did really like Long Halloween. Yeah, yeah. Kill's not allowed, but skull fractures fine. I think I think so. I think we could agree on that. You overplayed your part, yo. Did I? I was mistaken last of season four of Young Justice actually releasing in October, not August. Well, I will be watching it when it comes out. I, I do really enjoy Young Justice. I gotta be getting close to a boss fight. This seems like a boss fight sort of entrance. Yeah, I mean, look at this long ladder. I'm going into a boss fight. And it's starting to shake. Oh, this is a boss fight. There's a door. Oh, absolutely. Batman, we have received a tip that a weapon of mass destruction is heading toward Gotham City. Where did the tip come from? I can't say. Meaning you don't know, or you won't tell me. I just can't say. <laughs> you stop, Clayface. I'll look for the weapon of mass destruction. That was weird. I wonder why Jim can't say. Hmm, okay, that's acid. Oh, I should, I should run. Oh, man. Okay, this is one of those, like, the floor is running up and I got, I can't, you know, I can't let the acid burn me. It's going okay. Oh, bad move. Batman, bad move. Hurry up. All right. Oh, I messed up there. Interesting level, though. I do. I do use an emulator, everybody who's asking. That is how I'm doing this one. But for my console games, I um, actually have a shadow cast where I... Um, can basically plug my gaming system through an HDMI cable. So I will be doing that in the future for some of the, the more console-based games. But emulator just works best for Game Boy. Okay, much better this time. There we go. <laughs> this is really hard. This is a really hard one. Okay, there goes the lava or whatever. The acid. Let's race the acid. Oh, why did I do that? That was bad. Alright, I'm dead. There goes the acid again. Oh man, and I already forgot my route. Here we go. Jump up the, the things. Oh, come on, Batman. This is actually really anxiety inducing. Go up there, that's cool. Keep on climbing. This is just too much acid. Cost me, cost me valuable time. I should not have survived that. Okay, all right, doing, doing all right, doing all right. Jump! Jump! Ah, I think I made it. Alright, the ass is not rising anymore. Oh no! <laughs> I spoke too soon. Oh, it's just more. It's more acid. <laughs> I 
At least I'm back in this new room instead of having to do the first one again. Oh, where am I going? I like how that just drops you back in the acid. Ugh, okay. That would have been the right move. All right, here we go. Oh, oh. So I really gotta make that jump. Okay, I'm gonna answer uh, comments real quick. Um, so when's Maddie gonna do the uh, Thursday and uh, Saturday night streams again? Um. Hopefully soon. Yeah, Ma Maddie just got back from vacation, and so um, I think I, I don't want to speak for them, but either either this week or next, probably, but very very soon. All right, let's try that again. This time, Batman. How about you just don't die? All right, all right, buddy. Oh yeah, that is a hard jump, but that is like the only time I can do that jump. I'm keeping an eye out for, like, any bat grapple scenarios just out of the corner of my eye. That thing has to light up. That is such a hard jump. That can't be the move. I mean, it seems like the only move there is, but... Can I go in that door? Nah, that, that would have been too easy. And now I'm dead. <laughs> run, Ted, run! I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. Maybe there's, like, a different place to go up. I'm gonna go this way a little bit. Nope. Okay. There's not. I might have just signed my decimals. Ugh. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Bad move, I slipped. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get there. I'm looking to the right now, just in case. Nope, there's nothing to the right. It's gotta be that ledge to the left. That's just such a hard jump. Oh, I made it! Oh my god. You know what? Sorry, because I mean, I gotta got do a save. I'm gonna save my progress right there. Okay, here we go. Just in case. Oh, that is annoying. Can I turn that fan off? Yes. Oh, Batman, go, go, go. Turn the fan off. Climb up. so bad once I got past that ledge, but that was definitely not easy. Okay, sweet. Um, <laughs> yeah, Maddie's doing an upcoming video at the end of August um, that's all about Harley Quinn's origin story, and there are a bunch of different origin stories. Um, well, it's the same origin story, but there's like more info scattered across the DC and which is kind of cool. Is Hush gonna be in uh, Legacies of the DCAU? Tell us, please. I'll just say, um, oh well. <laughs> All right, Batman. So bad that I forgot the grappling hook on the Batmobile. I had to parkour my way up. Yes, yes, and yes, Trace. It is intense. All right, let's move on. Still look like an easy fight, Batman. No, just a good one. Yep. All right, here's the big boss, I guess. Oh, I don't want to get hit by those. I don't like those, uh, don't like that. Now that lever seems to definitely have something to do with it. Just 
dealing in mud. Okay, pull the lever, Batman. Oh, that didn't work. Like, it seems like it's definitely something to do with this electricity. Yeah. Yep. So they do have a PlayStation version of this game. Um, I have the Xbox one, and so I will play that eventually. I will do the console version. All right, pull the lever. Awesome. What's that do? Nothing? Oh, there's a back grapple up there now. If I can stand up. Okay, I, I'm getting a sense of what to do now. I think I just have to uh, to plan my move a little little better here. And that is not that. It is dodge those things. Dodge those things. Oh, and that didn't help. Get up, Batman. I feel like once I get stuck there, it's just bad news. And then when he does the Tasmanian Devil Whirlwind, that's when I'll pull the switch. Oh, knives. Don't like the knives. There's the whirlwind. All right, pulling the switch. There's a hook up there now. But I could not grapple on it, so I don't, don't really know. And that doesn't do anything to help with the projectiles, so... Hmm. Anybody in the comments have any ideas? Touch the knives! Alright, there's the whirlwind. Let's do that again. Hmm. When he goes into the phone cabin to... Oh, super, I was thinking that was advice. Water gun. Yeah, water gun would be nice. Alright, dodge those things. It's definitely got something to do with the switch. And there's a... So, like, when I pull the switch, there's a hook that appears. Alright, whirlwind seems right. There, I know that's key. Hmm. A water gun is the only way. Attack him while he's spinning. Yeah, I could try that. No, the spinning's key. That's like the only time where the um, where the levers available too, though. Yeah, it doesn't even let me attack him. It just lets me hit the lever. Hmm. Might have to pause this and look at a walkthrough in a second. OK, 
Okay. So it did work uh, for a second while I was getting attacked, but that it did want me to grapple on it for a second. That was interesting. So the lever almost worked. Nice. Let's try that again. Come on, lover. I don't know how to get the lever to stop, though. Hmm. Yeah, should we search a walkthrough? Yeah, if someone wants to search a walkthrough for me, <laughs> I wouldn't say no. <laughs> Drop it in the comments if you know the strategy. But I, I feel like it's definitely, you gotta pull the lever, and then you gotta grapple on the hook. But what I'm trying to figure out is how to make the hook stop. Because it did a second ago, but I was being hit by clay, so it couldn't actually grapple. Spin. There's that. See, it spins the, like the weirdest times. I need to figure out how to do it. So weird. I'm doing it right. <laughs> Are you sure? Because I cannot get the hook to spin. Or I like the hook to stop. You flick the lever, grapple, and wait for it to come back. All right. Yeah, it's just um, the the hook thing just isn't stopping. That's been my problem. Is that only once did it even like allow me to grapple, but I was being hit by clay things. So the trick is like getting the hook to actually like stay above my head. Okay, maybe this time. See, it just spins across really quick like that. It does it both times, even when it comes back. It's like that time I was like tapping the uh, grapple button just to be safe. Perfect timing, huh? Does it stop eventually? Eventually it doesn't stop? Because it has not been stopping so far. I saw it stop once. It's supposed to stop for a second or two. Well, it has not been stopping most of the time. I can think to do is like maybe it matters where I'm standing. Hmm. We need to follow it and don't let it 
go off screen. Yeah, I can try that next time. Let's see what happens. There we go. Okay, and then what? Now what happens? Boom, okay, I hit him once. And then I go back. Okay, all right, hopefully I can do that again. Yeah, following it um, to the left actually made it stop that time. So that was, that was cool. All right, one slice and boom, follow the thing. Oh, it didn't stop for me. There it goes, there it goes. Yeah. All right, we figured this out now. We're gonna have to stop. Got him twice. He hasn't even hit me yet. I like it. Uh -huh. Oh no, I might have lost that one. I got impatient, because he, um... Yeah, that one didn't work out. I really gotta wait for the spin to set the slice. Another impatient scenario? No, no, I think I did okay. I think I got it this time, maybe. Almost, ah. <laughs> There's another case of like getting pummeled by the mud. Alright. At least I know the strategy now. I appreciate everyone in the comments for helping me get there. the groove. I was doing so good at the beginning of this. It's too close, that's why. Come on. There we go. Yes. Another hit. had it. There we go. Okay, okay. Still got a hit in. But I think I can only get hit one more time before I die. But... Big thanks to the comment section there. Gloat now, Batman, but by dawn, he will have conquered Gotham City. Who? Who's behind this? The password. That's who. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Um, that was an unfair fight, honestly. But anyway, um, Clayface is a kind of 3D. It was cool. Gave up. Being Batman, we used a gun again. Yeah, yeah, Batman using a gun. It's not usually how it goes. I was, gonna, I was gone to look after my bees, and you still didn't beat Clayface? Yeah, Chris. 
but I just did it, so yeah, awesome. All right, um, that might be where I stop for the day, but let's see what's next. Dock 47. Yeah, I, I like the idea of stopping there right after a boss fight, so. Cool. Whoops. Uh, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Uh, that was fun. Thank you so much for your help in beating Clayface, because that was, uh, that was a tricky fight. Um, I thought this stream went a lot better than last week, too, for some reason. Just the quality of it didn't seem to glitch. So, um, appreciate y'all bearing with me, because you never really know if it's going to work out or not, and it worked out. So, I like it. Um, yeah, good game. So, we need a Zeta Project video now. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yeah, they're, they're coming. They are coming, though. We've got a lot of cool Zeta ideas in the future. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, I don't think there's a Zeta Project video game for me to play on these Wednesday streams, unfortunately, but I've got plenty of other video games I'm going to play in the future. There's still more Batman Rise of Sin Tzu, so I'll be doing this for another couple of weeks for sure. Um, I, I know I've beat Scarecrow and Clayface, and I feel like Bane is his own boss fight, and then, of course, Sin Tzu. So I, at least I've got two more boss fights ahead of me, I think. But we need a Crypto the Super Dog vid. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see about that one. Uh, maybe a Willet Cannon. <laughs> I don't know. There's enough in crypto to make it a question. But anyway. Um, Y'all, it's been fun. I, I appreciate everyone who tuned in today. I think Maddie's going to be back tomorrow uh, doing a novelization read-through. Not 100% sure. Um, but Maddie will be back at least in the next week or two, no doubt. Um, now that they're back from vacation. Like, recently back. So, yeah. Um would you be playing the arkham games i would love to play the arkham games i have um asylum city and origins that i can do with my um shadow cast uh system so yeah that's just basically like um hooking my xbox 360 directly to my laptop with an hdmi converter um so I, i've got a lot of console games i want to do that way uh because i've been doing mostly like game boy Game Boy Advance, uh, Super Nintendo, Sega, that kind of stuff on these streams. So I do want to branch off and play like some of the more 3D oriented ones. Um, I did kind of try that with Lego Batman 3. Um, but yeah, so I've got I've got plenty of games. Um, a lot of DCAU stuff to still get through. That would include like the console versions for Batman Vengeance and Batman Rise of Sinzu. I've got Superman Countdown to Apocalypse I want to play. Um, Gotham City Racer, <laughs> that's a, that's one for the PlayStation, and um, the Batman Beyond Return of the Joker console version as well. Um, I'm looking at my shelf, it's like right behind my stream right here, with all the video games I've got. I've also, I'm gonna do Justice League Heroes for Xbox. Um, I'm gonna do Batman Begins, <laughs> the tie-in game with the movie eventually. Um, I'll play the Arkham games I just mentioned, maybe the Telltale series, that'd be fun. Uh, is there anything else? Mortal Kombat versus DC. I've got that one. So, yeah, there's plenty of other, like, Batman and DC or video games I will be definitely getting to. Um, Superman 64? I don't know. I don't know if I'll do that one. Um, yeah, I know, I know you need it. Yeah, I haven't, um, I need, I need to test the, my emulator system with that one, um, before I can commit to saying yes. I would like to play it. I know that's a legendary game, <laughs> uh, just in general for how bad it is, but definitely a legendary DC game. What about the Injustice games? I don't have copies of those right now. I might, I might, um, play through them as well, though. Um, I just don't have a modern gaming system right now. That's, that's what I'm dealing with. Um, though, I do want to get my hands on a PlayStation 5 as soon as I can. That's kind of what I'm looking for. But yeah, um, I need you to play the bad games for me. I, I'm kind of interested in playing the Aquaman game, too. I used to have that for the GameCube back in the day. Um, Green Lantern, the movie, the game. There's a lot I should look into, actually. Um, I'll, I'll get around to them sooner than later, no doubt. But, but yeah, those are um, basically all the games I just dropped, for sure. Um, I've got plenty of other ones for, for Game Boy and Super Nintendo and stuff like that that I can do as well. So there's uh, still a plethora of DC-related video games. Um, I'm just trying to make my way through the, the DCAU stuff first. But yeah, um, 
everybody. I appreciate you again for tuning in. Um, while I've still got you, I want to remind you about this shirt I'm wearing, Lost Dominion. This is a comic book that I am the editor on, and I do the, the word balloon lettering as well. Adam Mullen is the writer. Marcella Milke is the artist. And um, you can learn all about it. Uh, go to Lost Dominion Comic on social media. That's the best place to see some artwork. Issue number three is about to come out. So um, go go check that out, and uh, you know, so you can be ready to order the third issue. Go catch up. the The first two are up on Comicsology. So yeah, there's that. And then um, I always want to plug my newsletter. I'm gonna drop it here in the comments real quick. Uh, so here I'll just type it out real quick. It's not a link, but Lost Dominion Comic for for what I just mentioned, and then my newsletter. You should be able to go to the website that I am writing right now. It's artificial-ink-creative.com. This is my, um, basically my production company. I have an LLC to do like all my filmmaking and comic book endeavors. And so I have a newsletter um, that I've just launched. I'm about to put out the third one. It's monthly. Um, so go drop your email in that. That is at that link I just dropped in the comments. And um, sign up for my newsletter so you don't miss out on like, I'm gonna be writing about Lost Dominion. So, you know, that's kind of a great, like, one-stop shop for everything I'm working on. You'll get all the new uh, Watchtower database videos that I'm a part of over there. Um, just any creative endeavor I'm working on, I'm going to share it in that newsletter. Um, but, yeah, that's a great, that's the best place to um, follow me in my work. Join my newsletter. It's free. It only comes out once a month, so it's not, you know, going <laughs> to add more emails to your already really full inbox. Cool. Um, that's all I got, everybody. So again, Maddie, I think it's going to come back tomorrow. We'll find out for sure. Um, if not, you know, stick around next week. I will be back for sure, at least uh, streaming, you know, some more Batman Rise of Sinzu on Game Boy Advance. So sweet. Um, go check out Batman The Long Halloween Part 2. I think that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to go watch it. Um, but yeah. I don't know. That's what I got. I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you all later. See you next week.